Hello and welcome to part three of DWM. My name is Drew and welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we installed 11 patches using DWM Flexi Patch. And I finished the video by putting this particular uh, wallpaper in and I'm going to swap it out now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and uh, super P and open up nitrogen and I'm going to use this wallpaper and the reason why is because I want to start building something that's in the kind of the green teal category so I'm going to go over here and show you a couple of things that I've done offline and one of them is to install this Jasper GTK which I have not used yet but I will in a second Okay, and so there's the Jasper GTK theme. Um, I installed the uh, uh, colloid icon theme, just the um, just the teal, and I installed this Light Excel um, text editor. And I think it will be apparent as to why I did that uh, in the coming minutes. So let me go back over to one, and let us open up. Um, appearance, uh, LX appearance, that's what I should have said, LX appearance, and I'm going to select the Jasper dark, and as far as icon theme, I'm going to select the colloid teal dark, and hit apply, and let's go ahead and close that, and let's open up Thunar to see what it looks like, it looks pretty nice, okay. Now, it did not change the icons uh, in the sys tray, and I will do that in a couple minutes. So what I want to do is I want to go to the dot config, and I want to go to the suckless DWM directory, and then open up this with uh, Light Excel. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, so I'm going to hit uh, Super H so that you can see what's going on. Now, I just want to work on this before we do, do anything else, okay? Um, I've made some changes. What I have not done, though, is uh, rebuild this, um, this configuration file. So what I did was I swapped out, uh, this was 30 before, okay? And I also put in a value for this vertical padding, and I and I change the sys tray spacing from two to six. Also, I uh, changed the iOS uh, the um, font from monospace to iosevka medium size twelve. Okay. So these are the things that I've done so far, and what I'd like to do is delete this config H and let me, let me go to, I'll just open up terminal and make this a little bit bigger and let's cl clear that and we're going to go to the config uh, suckless DWM and let's sudo make clean install. Okay, now let's go ahead and just close that. And you know, why don't we just go ahead and uh, go all the way out and let's change it, just see what, what happened, okay? All right, so you can see the new uh, icons are being utilized now. You can see the Iosevka um, font is being used and we're ready to do something else. Okay, I'm going to open up Thunar and I'm going to go to the dot config suckless DWM. And I'm, what I'm going to do, and since I'm in Thunar, if I say open with NeoVim, it's going to open up the XFCE4 terminal, which I installed because I like to have it in case I'm using Thunar and I can just quickly do that. So I wanna show you what the current color scheme is, okay? This is what we currently have. 
uh, and what you're currently seeing with regard to this particular build of DWM. Okay. Now I want to change that to make it a little bit more appealing to me. Now if you want to, you can always just leave this, but I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste this um, and I'm going to rename this as um, whoa, dot h dot b a k okay and i'm going to uh open up a ter uh, it's not terminal sorry i'm going to open up my firefox and i'm going to go over here and look at my uh, github and in there I'll probably do some work on this but um, there is a config dot def dot h and what I want to do is, I think I'll save this. So let me go to, let me say to raw. And since I've backed it up, I'm just going to overwrite the existing one. So I'm going to say save page as, and then make sure that I am getting this correct. And again, make sure you have this backed up. So I'm just going to overwrite the current def.h, all right, and hit save and replace. Now let's go back over here, okay? And I want to open this up in NeoVim. And let's actually just move this out to Workspace 2. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let me do this a different way. Let me close this tab. And I'm going to open up in a different terminal. So we can do this uh, easily by just going to um, to our ST terminal, all right, and cd into dot config suckless dwm, and let's um, be into the config dot def dot h. Oh, it's okay. Open. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I should have done that before. Uh, anyway, you can see if you line them up, the norm color is different, the float color, all these colors are different for the most part. Um, and then I've changed, obviously the biggest change is this 005577, this color. I'm going to make it a more of a teal to match the color of the uh, icons that we were using. Okay. So... Um, I kind of just change these. This are th these are things that can be uh, done, but make sure you do have a backup. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close this, and let's go ahead. <coughs> excuse me, and close this whole thing. Now. We have to ls. We have to remove this config.h. Notice it's in root, so you have to say um, remove config.h. It's going to be write protected, so we say yes, and then we sudo make clean install. Okay. Now let's go ahead and quit or let me let me just do it and see what's going to happen is it's going to get kind of give me two volumes over here but we'll see the colors immediately all right you know i know it was fast but it went from kind of that different color bluish green to more of a teal that's it okay and in fact let me go ahead and uh, re-log back in and now it kind of has the uh, the color scheme that I want, which is this teal and then this background. And now we're going to do is we're going to work on the SL status, which is this section right here. OK. So I want to get a package before we do the SL status. So I'm going to open up a terminal and let's make this a little bit bigger and sudo apt install aptitude. 
Okay. Now, let me close this. Once again, I'm going to open up Thunar. And man, do we need some uh, key bindings in the worst possible way. Okay. And I'm going to go open up uh, dot config, suckless, and SL status. Now, I'm going to open up a terminal. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a different terminal. Let's go with um, Tilex. Okay. And say cd into dot config. Uh, suckless SL status and let's uh, look at this config.def.h and there you go okay there's nothing there's nothing different about this okay so what I want to do is open this with um, Light Excel. Now this might fail, honestly. I've had so much problems with Light Excel. Everything else has been perfect. All right. It didn't it did exactly what I hoped it would do. Great. Okay. Let me go ahead and close this close window so we can see this like side by side. Okay. So what this is what is currently in this SL status and this is what I intend to put there now the very first thing is um, I'm using kernel release so look here if you can see all of the um, functions that you can use here uh, there's a lot and I don't really care about a whole lot most people will put in like um, uh, network speeds and stuff like that I feel fairly safe in terms of like what I have um, so I want to just use a couple things. Most of the time I only use like three. But for you, I'm going to explain that I'm going to show you that Debian um, and which which Debian we're on, and basically it's going to show you what the uh, what the kernel is. And let me there we go. Um, aptitude is what we installed, and when you type in aptitude search and this tilde u and then count what it's going to do is basically anytime that you open up your uh, your machine or your turn on the machine uh, most people leave theirs on I don't I turn mine off after uh, after a session um, it will then spit out how many um, updates that you have are so if I turn my machine on and there's like an update, I, I know that I can go ahead and, and do that. As far as CPU and RAM, uh, you'll see that it is a, actually that's wrong, isn't it? This should be um, percent, percent. Okay, good. I'm, I was gonna make a mistake. And then I broke this up into uh, two different uh, date and time functions, one with just the uh, the calendar date and then one with time and both of them being in two different colors. Okay, so I use colors for each one and basically I don't need a lot of color but if you want to you're more than, the, you know, the reason why we can use these colors is because we installed the status 2D patch um, using the flexi patch. So let me let me go to different. This tells you exactly what you know what it looks like. Um, so I want to go ahead and go to two, and let's let's do Thunar again, and config suckless dwm. You know what? I'm going to do this in command line. Might as well. Okay. So let's quit that and we are going to um, ls now notice I might be able to do this straight away this is this is something that uh, that I don't know if I will be able to I'm gonna you know what this is this is why we do things so that we can see if it's, there's gonna be a mistake made all right let's try it uh, I'm going to move the config.def.h 
to config.def.h.bak. And I'm going to move, which is this back to. So move config def back to to just the dot h. OK. And there. Now let's do a make. sudo make clean install. So I don't know if that worked, honestly. Let me say something real quick. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe. All right, let's let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to restart. And no, it didn't. Doesn't look like it. Let's try that one more time. By um, removing the config.h. And now let's try that again. And let's restart. Oh, now look at that. You can see it has potential. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just close down and then reopen uh, using the Live Console Manager, and there it is. Um, hmm. I think we're missing something from this RAM, right? Let's let me let's make let's change that. But this looks pretty good so far. So let me uh, open up Tilex again, and let's go into the dot config def. I mean uh, suckless. SL status, and then let's uh, edit that config def h. Yep, yep. RAM is um, percent percent, and um, control s, control q, and let's uh, remove the config dot h. Yes. And now let's uh, sudo make clean install. And now let's go ahead and close it down again and start over and see how that worked. All right. So what have we learned today? Quite a lot, actually. Um, I hope that you are able to um, get a better understanding. Next time, we will be completely dedicated to... Uh, to getting our key bindings in, in working order. All right, thanks a lot and talk to you soon.